had tears in my eyes. I get emotional when they play the anthem or any of the songs. I can't help it. Uh, I'm so proud of this country. And the people in it. They served in our country and they could have risked their lives for us to have freedom. It made me very happy and proud to be his great-granddaughter. As I, This is the third time I've been here and I've talked to some of the other fathers that have uh, been here before. And it's, it's interesting because the, the children will, will get to see that their fathers are, have been in the service. I think that's, that's worthwhile. It's hard to communicate that to the younger generation, but things like this sure help. My grandkids know more and ask me more questions than they did before. So it's a good thing. I'm, I'm pleased that you're doing it. The Cherry Creek Public Schools doing this is a great way to show appreciation for those that have come before me, those that serve with me, and those that are going to serve after me. Because somebody is going to have to take my place, and I just enlisted. So those kids that are younger than me now, probably in elementary, and maybe even preschool, sir, they will have to do something about this, sir. And the Cherry Creek Public Schools doing this is just a great way to show the respect to the community and all military forces that show up here, sir. I want to say thank you for our veterans in the audience. Thank you for your service to this country and what you gave to all of us so that we could enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy as the United States of America. And to the active service members, I say thank you. Thank you for your, your commitment and what you give to each and every one of us every day. Today we celebrate your song, your strength, your circumstance and survival. Today we salute our stalwarts, our scrappers, your service and our security. May the horns swoon and sing your name, not take this tale in rapture and lost in shame. For the lost and found, we will not let go cold. For today, your story will be heard and told. I think it's wonderful to see everybody come together, the community standing out, you know, waving at us as we go past. It, it, it's a thing that's been lost a long time. A lot of communities don't um, take pride in the veterans, you know. I, for me, you know, it, it just meant a lot to see people coming together and honoring us for doing what we did. I haven't seen much like this at the various places I've been stationed. Uh, it really is a, a beautiful thing that they do here. It makes me feel more part of this community, that uh, we truly have a, a larger family out here other than just the ones you've got at home. I, I feel honored to be here. I don't feel like they're honoring me. I feel honored to be here. It's, just, it's, it's quite something for these little guys to do what they're doing. It, it, it brings back, well, you know, when we, when we came back from Vietnam, we didn't get a good welcome home. And this to me is, I, I, like I said, I feel honored to be here. And I hope this keeps going on and on and on. Today, all across our country, in town halls, city squares, parades, and places such as this, we celebrate and honor America's veterans for their devotion, patriotism, selfless service, and sacrifice on behalf of all of us. We join hands in the name of peace and freedom to pay them proper tribute to say thank you. It's a very important thing, you know, to on again to honor those who serve their country because their lives are at risk all the time and um, it's a great sacrifice. I'm honored, that's all I can say. It's such a pleasure, it's such an honor to serve this country. I can't tell you how much I love it.